everybody. Well, we've been at another project again. I've not posted in a while or done a video, so I wanted to show you one of the things we've been working on, which is our little courtyard. So we have a couple finishing touches to do, but I thought I'd just show you because it's super cool. So we had this old fence around our chicken coop area, but we want to add an aviary, and so we took this fence off. Steve salvaged it a long time ago from some house being torn down. It's old and rusty and has these awesome smooth little loopy tops and I just am smitten with this fence and all the little imperfections in it. You can see the joins here, the imperfect top. It's all just exactly what we wanted right here. So we love it. So I'm gonna walk you through there. We use some cool cutoff boards for our end cap right around our porch. And so now I'm gonna walk you. The reason we're creating this courtyard was, well one, we love this fence and it needed to be somewhere awesome. The plants get pretty tall in here. And so this is gonna help keep our pathway open. And we wanted to shut this down. You can hear the car behind me. Yeah, we're really close to the road. And so part of our whole plan with this house is to make us have a little bit more privacy. And so, I'll get back to that in a minute, but you can see out front here, our front yard, none of this was here other than that big maple tree and that big stump. So we've added all of this to give us some privacy and it's awesome. Anyways, I'm just super charmed by places that have little nooks and crannies and when you go by you can't really exactly see the house and it makes you want to see more. So we want to do that here. And we have this awesome hangout spot right back in here. All these plants will fill in really tall. And this path always just wants to be a garden. It doesn't want to be the path. And so we decided, well, let's let that fill in. And then our little courtyard is going to be even more nuggety and cozy and just a space you want to hang out. So I'm walking us along. We moved our gate over to here. So this is the same gate we had out with the chicken coop. We closed this at night and any other time we want, but the chickens are still getting used to their new layout. They're right over here. Hey girls, Fern, here, you wanna show everybody how you're dust bathing? Who else is under here? Anybody? Hey Fern. Oh, it looks like there's Ivy and Sassafras, Aster and Ebby, everyone's under their canoe, our canoe. It's their favorite dust bathing spot. Okay, here we go. Continuing on around our path. We have hummingbirds here. We've had them here for over a week now. We've already had a monarch here laying eggs. She was here so early. Oh my gosh, it's a crazy year. So we're heading up. This has always been gardens for quite a while. We use all kinds of reclaimed materials to line the paths. And it doesn't match and that makes it better in my opinion. And so over here, we've just moved all our inside plants out, which always makes me so happy. And then it makes me so happy to move them in in the winter because I miss them. So we relined this. This is gonna be the new border. And then this will all grow in with plants. And soon, I would say within a month, all the plants will be so tall. It'll be a spot that you can hide and no one on that road out there will see you sitting here or in this little table right here. And that's exactly what we want. So our prickly pear is doing great in this galvanized tub. And our greens and our cold frame are doing great. I have them covered with screens right now because the chickens love to get in there and eat. Free ranging chickens really makes everything kind of a different game. And then here's more of our outside plants in. I really want you to notice, okay, so I have this crazy aloe that needs up potted. If you need some aloe, let me know. But look at this ginger. This thing is super, super tall. I gotta cover it with some more soil, but it seems like it's pretty happy. One of our goals this year, uh, if we get to it, we'll see, we always have so many goals, is to make our cistern usable again. So this is a cistern that was here when we moved in and all the gutters on this entire side of the house 
feed into the cistern if we have it go in. It's an old cistern and so it leaks and so it doesn't hold water that well. So we've got to figure out how to redo that. And we're going to a rainwater harvesting workshop this coming week so maybe we'll get some ideas on how to do that. But I just wanted to show you our little courtyard area and then I'll do another post once we're in bloom here and as we see this trail shut down and how it just feels real cozy and nook like like a place you just want to sit and drink some coffee and read a book or a magazine okay that's it for now hope you all are having a really great spring